Welcome back, this is CBH4K, and this is XCOM Enemy Within. Now, I did do another, I did try to do this, but I sort of just gave up on it. And just like, eh, whatever, I'll, I'll finish it later. And I just never came back to it. Look at that guy, he turned right back at me. Like, yeah, I saw you. Anyway, I decided just to do something else and I went with Phoenix Point and Phoenix Point took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take and I was just I, I think I'm just like I needed a break after Phoenix Point and I took that break and I realized I never finished Enemy Within so I was like okay let me record Enemy Within even though I did beat this game on console but I've never beat it on PC so this will be a learning experience for me. And so let's make it interesting, shall we? We'll set a couple of goals for this Let's Play. First of all, I'm I'm going to treat it like an Iron Man, Iron Man run, but I'm not going to turn Iron Man on because, well, quite frankly, this is a new piece. This is a new-ish PC, and this is an old-ish game, and I don't know if they're going to fight. So... I'm going to assume the worst and just leave it off of Iron Man and I'm I'm just going to play it straight like it's an Iron Man playthrough. I'm not going to reload missed shots, not going to reload if a soldier dies, not going to reload well just about anything really. I'm just going to play it straight from beginning to end. Uh, if we lose a country, so be it. If we lose a whole, if we lose the whole game, which you can do, you can lose XCOM, XCOM Enemy Within, which makes it a very unique game. Well, not there's very few games that let you, that basically, if you lose, you just you just lose the whole game. But anyway, I digress. Enough of my love about this game. I did start up a couple of games. This is the Iron Man one well, I didn't finish. And this is the one I played off camera a bit to see if everything was working. And everything is working. So let's start with classic. Uh, advanced options. Oof. We're turning off all the tutorials. You don't need the tutorial. You've got me. I'll help teach you this game. And plus, I've already did a tutorial series. It's on my channel. If you want to see it, uh, it's. You can probably find it in one of my playlists. I might leave it at the end of this video, but yeah, we'll see. Now, do I add these extra things to the campaign? Operation Slingshot is a DLC for this game, and then it was like not a lot of people liked it, but it, added, it just added three missions and a new soldier that you had to recruit. I'm going to turn this off, not because I don't think it's a good, well, I, 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 I won't go, in, go into details about it right now, but it's, it, it adds a little bit of difficulty to the game that I don't want to deal with because I'm already putting a couple of restrictions on myself. Uh, this, oh yeah, yeah I, I mentioned two, did I mention two restrictions? I think I did. I mentioned the okay, the Iron Man thing I mentioned, but let's mention the fact that I am not going to lose a single country in this playthrough. That's right. That's one of my goals of this playthrough. We're not going to be losing a single country. Okay. Now, how are we going to do this? I will show you because I can do this well fairly regularly, not completely regularly, but fairly regularly. And we're doing, uh, that's fine. I've, I've tricks to avoid that too. <laughs> uh, second wave. We'll put that on, that on. We don't need these two. Damage roulette makes this game extra hard. So I'd say a uh, yeah, new economy. So that's train roulette. That could be interesting, but no, no safe scumming because we're not going to save scum. And back, and we'll set the classic. So we got like a like three restrictions. We're playing on Iron Man. We're playing with classic. 
we're playing um, with we can't lose a single country. If we lose a single country, I'll consider the playthrough a loss and we'll start over again. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'll try to avoid it. Uh, no, I'm the tutorial. You guys got me. You don't need this computer. You don't need the tutorial. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought to, brought by degrees to wield this sword. Okay, that was an impactful landing. You see what I did there? I, I can feel you just going. I can feel your eyes rolling. I can feel all your eyes rolling. <laughs> see, that was their fault for touching that. Like. It fell out of the sky, it was glowing green. I mean, you just do what this dude is running. He's running away, but, you know. He was pretty much. He was pretty much fudged. He's getting fudged. He's getting that green goop all over him. Can't take that out in the bath, man. You gotta. Gotta be hosed down. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. Boom, boom, oh, boom, Commander. Boom, boom, In boom. light of the recent boom, extraterrestrial boom, boom, incursion, boom, boom, this boom, council of nations boom, boom, has convened boom, to approve boom, the boom, boom. of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you go where I will. Good luck, Commander. So it's uh, the is no is XCOM enemy unknown, but I have the expansion, so it was XCOM within. So it's basically the same intro. You're not really miss, missing much except uh, the one without DLC is blue, and the uh, and the one with the expansion is orange, as you can see. Now, time for our base location. Now, as a nice little bonus wherever you set up your fur your base you'll get a continent bonus now the north american continent bonus is pretty good actually because you will need aircraft aircraft are important in this game and uh, we'll get into the aircraft game a little bit later i don't want to focus on it but 50 percent is pretty good that's a that's a lot of money you're saving uh expert knowledge Laboratories and workshops. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. But that's good, like, late game. Like, early game, you're not going to have that many workshops and laboratories running around. I don't, I don't think. We might. Uh... Asia's future combat is also good in the late game. Well... Actually, it's pretty good in the early game. Because let's be honest, you're gonna you're gonna want some of these like really fast. Hmm. Should we get this? Because if you want, you can get all these bonuses later on, but you have to put up satellites in the in that whole continent and have it completely covered with satellites in order to get. The continent bonus and age is hard to do because there's like four countries in it so is Europe South America just has two so we have ways it's an okay bonus but 
it saves you on research time, but you'll you'll be speeding through the research tree at one point. You won't really you won't really worry about this too much. Africa is by many considered the best, and with good reason. That's a flat bonus to all your money. Yeah, I think I'll take that one. Yeah. It's good for money. We're gonna need it for... We're heading to South Africa for this one. And we need to get down there fast. Oh, I know we this map. Up a local this isn't a good map. alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay, let's do it. That's our landing. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay, so XCOM is a turn-based game, but it's also the most action-packed turn-based game I've ever seen. I'll show you what I mean. Get up here. We'll wait. So, as you can see, your character has two movements. They have two action points per turn. Uh, you can move once and shoot, or you can move twice, or you can just shoot. If you shoot at any point during your turn, it ends your turn automatically. You can also do this thing called Overwatch, which I advise you to do regularly. Copy that. Now we're going to move up very carefully. Hopefully we won't get anything attention. We're going to be running across what I have to call Little Problems. They have actual name in the game, but I like to call them Little Problems. Because they're, they're not as dangerous as the later enemies. Yeah, you're... There's different enemy types in this game, and <laughs> trust me. I'm just looking at the stats because we get varied stats. Offense means aim, will means willpower, and defense is basically your cover bonus. And your health is just your health. Everyone has the same health pool of five hit points. If they run down to zero, they die. Uh, there's a chance they could go into a down state, in which, you, in which case you have three turns to use a med kit to stabilize and save their lives. But if you don't do that, they'll just die. Okay. Overwatch. Get you all the way over here now you're probably wondering uh, what the cover system is it's basically there's two types of cover actually three types of cover there's no cover uh, there's half cover and then there's full cover half cover gives you a nice 20% defense I'll show you what I mean I'm gonna move her up here she's gonna get 20% defense that was incredibly dangerous. I shouldn't have done that for that meld. I'm moving it up for the. I moved her up for that meld. But I didn't get punished. I got away with it. I got away with that. That highway robbery just now. Yeah, that, that was highway robbery. I'm a wanted man. Okay. We're gonna wait. Okay. We got 10 meld. Now, meld is a resource you'll need for special upgrades. And it's due to the expansion being loaded onto my uh, game. Move you up right here. Move you up. Move everybody up. Okay. 
Yes, Commander. Okay. So we're just gonna overwatch with everyone. Now, overwatch basically means they will shoot at anything that comes across their vision. So let's look at the half. So half cover is just 20 defense. Yeah. Half cover is considered bad cover, so you should always. Oh, there we go. We got an incoming. Missing something never before seen in recorded history. Of course, they ran off and hid. The cowardly aliens. Okay, we got a. We got a couple of bogeys here. I could go up top like that, but I don't think so. Let's just move her up. We could risk their lives for some more mill, but I I don't think so. I genuinely don't think that's a good idea. Like genuinely do not think that's a good okay. I could push him up here. But I think I'll just push him up right here. Stepping off. So he's covered. Uh... Like I'm tempted to just let that meld go. Okay, so he shot at us. So I can shoot back at him. Alright, so 71. That's a high hit percentage. But you notice he got one extra pip of health. He had three before, but his uh, his buddy is giving him a, a um, mind merge, which gives him a 25% crit chance and plus one health. Now, if I kill the mind merge person, uh, my merged alien, the one that's doing the my merging, like he's connected to another one, but if I kill the one that he's connected to, it kills this one. But if I kill him, it doesn't do anything to the other guy. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Any sight. On that last alien. I'll put you down there. Okay. Let's get you up here. Now, you're probably thinking, why is it yellow? That means I'm flanking them. And I'm also being flanked, so I have to be very careful with this. 95% chance. Now, he's not in any cover. He's out in the open, and she's close, like right on top of him. Uh, and it's due to the weapon's range. It's when it's real close like this, you really just can't miss. And that's why it's a five percent. There's also a sixty percent chance of crit. Critical. That means if he, if she lands this shot, he could take extra damage. This alien could take extra damage. Yep, got some critical. Love that crit. Love that crit. Don't miss. And he didn't. Alright, 
let's tab. Ugh. Should I go for the shot? Yes. No, just go for an overwatch. Because that's 25%. If you ever get like a shot with that's 25%, don't even bother. Because there's a good chance you'll just miss. So every time you take a shot, there's a percentage of his success or hit. Depends on, like, like I said, the range, the distance, the cover. If you've got a flanking shot, it's... It seems complicated, but it's not really. Oh no! That's not good. That's really not good. He panics. Alright. So, like I said, your soldiers can straight up die. Alright, can I. Can I reach with this grenade? Yes, I can. Catch. Now I'm gonna get yelled at by her. To exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Uh huh. Just something to consider. Okay. She's extra annoying. Work out there, strike one. <laughs> uh, that last part was funny. So those of you didn't notice, uh, I blew up the first alien. It caused a fire on that vehicle, and I guess the last alien was by it, and it blew up and killed it. So I basically killed three aliens with one well-placed grenade. I'm just that good. Not good enough not to get all my sol one of my soldiers killed, but Welcome you know. to XCOM HQ, Commander. We'll let this play out, because... I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Now, Bradford is basically, uh, like he said, he's in charge of running the base's logistics for you, so you don't have to worry about it. About it. But you are still in charge of certain other... Oh, my. You didn't get any kills? What were you doing? Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. All right. So, there's experience in this game, and if you get a certain level of experience, you level up, just like in most other games. So we're going to get a specialist class because each of these, because these two guys got kills, uh, they went on a mission. So yeah, let's the promote them. Weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. You were the guy who panicked, weren't you? Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Yeah, so that's a sniper. I'll get into them in when we get into another mission. Commander to the but research labs. Commander I'm coming. To the labs. Slow down. Also, we get medals. You can give them to your soldiers. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander, you can now honor our soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Now, if you guys want to leave a comment uh, asking for a soldier, I'm not opposed to that. Just leave it in uh, pretty much any of the comments of this um, series. I'll keep up with it. I might not have the audience uh, that's big enough to like fill out the whole barracks, but if you guys want like uh, a soldier, I'll get you one. I might even get you a replacement one if you if you kick the bucket, let's just say. 
So, the aim is random and the will is random. This guy's got bad will. But she's got 55 aim. I've never seen it go lower than 55 as a rookie. So, she's pretty much awful. <laughs> That guy's good in the will department. Jill Payne, she's good in the will. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the. I like to keep him waiting, let him know who's in who's the boss here. You guys don't control me. I control you. Also, uh, up here's your like your money and your resources. You got two hundred forty-two credits and a hundred and forty-two monthly. We get a monthly paycheck. Uh, but time flies really fast in this game like it goes really fast you're not sitting there for days you're sitting there for like minutes and seconds and missions come up and you fight the missions they're pretty good so commander last note on the combat commander to the research lab. if you're thinking like oh man that looks very complicated it's not just keep in mind you want to get a flank just like in real life get a flank on them Take a shot. Uh, if you can't get a shot on the flank, then do overwatches, throw grenades, do a whole bunch of stuff. Just remember, bigger number on hits means it's more likely to land and do damage or just outright kill them. And lower number means there's a good chance it's just going to miss. Okay? Nice and simple. Research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farnan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. The man's point we have already no begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, easy, you know where he's we going. believe we can use them to develop where you going, some man? equipment for our soldiers. With your approval. We will begin research immediately. You don't have my approval. Don't research anything. We're going to surrender to the aliens. <laughs> Alright, we'll start with Xenobiology. Uh, I recommend this one. Uh, the others are good, but this is a story important. Commander, they don't mention it yet. I realize our troops have to put their own survival... Uh-huh. I interrupted her because she was going to yell at me for the explosive uh, again, and I was not interested. By. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs... We can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. So research is where they do the development of equipment, uh, set up plans and uh, you know, schematics so that the engineering can build it. That's basically what's going on. And the steam is in the corner. want to expand our facilities. We're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. I'm tempted to not even bother going to the steam. So you're going to excavate uh, various points in your base so that you can fill them up with different buildings. Like, for instance, satellite uplink so you can put up more satellites. Power generator and a thermal generator, which we could have used. But we can't because the steam's all the way in the corner there. It's basically useless to us. I don't even know why they treated like oh you can just build down there like we're never gonna use it so i don't know that should have just been blank in fact that should have just been blank i might just put something over that that's not steam just as a like just as a you know screw you game yeah yeah we'll put a, we'll put, a, put something else there like an illyrium power generator how you like that huh that's so smart now are you Anyway, I just wanted to get that off my chest. And they keep calling me like they don't know how to wait. So, you can build a satellite or you can build a med kit. I'm not going to build a satellite right now, and I'm going to tell you why. Tell you why. Uh, the more engineers you get, the cheaper this gets. So, right now it's 100. If I get like a few more engineers, there'll be less than 100. So I'm going to wait and see if we can get, can't get more engineers. But we're going to buy a med kit. 
they're pretty essential to your operations. They allow you to heal. They'll replace a grenade in one of your soldiers' hands, so keep that in mind. And do we want a power generator? No. No, we don't want anything. In fact, yeah, this whole screen, we're done with it. Uh, anything else? Oh, yes, the memorial. Plasma pistol. First rookie. Wow. Just wow. So, the memorial is a nice little, like, homage to your dead soldiers. I really like this feature of the game. We can hire a soldier to replace her, but uh, not right now. We'll wait. We're going to wait. And we're going to hit mission control. And this is what I mean by you don't have to worry about it. Just scan. Now, as you can see in the bottom here, the time is ticking by. And our council reports in 31 days. That's when we get paid. Also when they give us... Um, a status report on how we've been doing. All right, and it's aliens time. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hologram. Okay, well I could pick one, but I think I'm just gonna leave it for right now because we got a situation that developed and we need to take care of it. That means another mission. That means more funds. That means more. Uh, level ups that means more everything but i think we'll end it right here and i would like to say thank you for stopping by and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this doing so will get you like it'll get you more access to my channel like, if you subscribe it'll give send up alerts for you when this new stuff gets put up and it also inspires me to do more videos like this and for those of you who already have liked and subscribed and left comments i would just like to say thank you for doing that i really appreciate it i also really appreciate that you stopped and viewed my let's play um thank you and i'll catch you in the next one